Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation 2 power x minus 3 power x equals to the square root of 6 power x minus 9 power x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and substitute this 2 power x as an a and 3 power x as a b to make our life a lot simpler. So therefore I can write over here a equals to 2 power x and here I can write b equals to 3 power x. And now if we multiply these two equations I can write a times b equal to 2 power x times 3 power x which could be written as 2 times 3 whole power x which is same as 2 times 3 is 6 whole power x. So therefore our a times b turns out to be 6 power x. And now let's focus on this equation b equals to 3 power x. Let's go ahead and square both sides. So I can write b square equal to 3 power x whole square. And now let's recall this power rule according to this rule. This 3 power x and then 2 could be written as 3 power 2x. Now we are going to apply this power rule once again. So this could be written as 3 power 2 and then power x and we know that inside this parenthesis 3 square is 9 whole power x. So therefore we could see that b square turns out to be 9 power x. And now we can see that our a equals to 2 power x, b equals to 3 power x, a times b is 6 power x and b square is 9 power x. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and proceed with the substitution now. So 2 power x I am going to replace this one by a minus 3 power x I am going to replace it by b equals to I'm going to write down square root of 6 power x is same as a times b. So I'm going to write down a times b minus 9 power x is b square. Now let's go ahead and square both sides of this equation. I'm going to square left hand side and right hand side as well. And now let's recall this identity a minus b square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So this could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square equals to on the right hand side this square and square root they undo each other. So we got a b minus b square. Now let's go ahead and move all these terms to the left hand side. So the left hand side is going to become a square. I'm going to move this a b over here becomes a negative a b. Then I'm going to write down this negative 2 a b. Then I'm going to write down this plus b square. When we move this negative b square on the other side become positive b square equals to 0. Now let's go ahead and combine these like terms. I can write a square minus, I'm not going to combine these two, I'm going to just leave it as it is, minus a b minus 2 a b plus 2 b square equals to 0. And now we can see between these first two terms, a is in common and likewise between these two last terms there's a 2b is in common. So therefore I can factor out a from here. So we ended up with a minus b and here I'm going to factor out minus 2b. So we ended up with a minus b equals to 0. And now we can see a minus b and a minus b they are common. So let's go ahead and factor them out. So I got a minus b times a minus 2b 
equals to zero. Let's go ahead and separate these two factors. I can write a minus b equal to zero or the other side this is a minus 2b equal to 0 as well. And now let's go ahead and move this negative b on the right hand side. So we got a equals to b. And now let's divide both sides by b. So therefore our a divided by b value turns out to be 1. And now let's focus on this equation. Let's move this negative 2b on the other side. So a equals to 2b. Now let's divide both sides by b. So therefore our a divided by b value turns out to be simply 2. And now we are going to consider two cases. The case 1 when our a divided by b equals to 1 over here and case 2 when our a divided by b value is 2 over here. And now let's focus on this case 1. We know our a value is 2 power x and b value is 3 power x. Let's go ahead and replace those one. So that is going to give us 2 power x divided by 3 power x equals to 1. So therefore the left hand side could be written as 2 divided by 3 whole power x. And let's go ahead and manipulate this 1. 1 could be written as 2 divided by 3 whole power 0. And now we can see that our these bases on both sides are same. So we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore our x value turns out to be 0 and that is our one of the solutions. And now let's go ahead and focus on this case 2. We are going to replace a and b values. So these are going to be 2 power x divided by 3 power x equals to 2. And this could be written as 2 divided by 3 whole power x equals to 2. And now let's recall this basic rule where we can convert this exponential form into logarithmic form. So therefore our this equation could be converted into logarithmic form as x equal to log of 2 with a base 2 third. And this turns out to be our another solution to this equation. And if we use a scientific calculator, our x value is approximately equal to negative 1.71. So thus our solutions turns out to be x equal to 0. And the other solution is x is approximately equal to negative 1.71. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.